Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christina and today I'm going to be sharing with you how I knew that my husband was the one. If you are new to the Miss Mrs. Mom channel, thank you so much for stopping by. Here you will find advice and fun for all the phases of your lady life. Okay, so I don't know if you guys saw last week's uh, vlog. Well, not last week, Tuesday. I posted it on Tuesday. Um, I posted a vlog of my trip to Breckenridge with my hubs. Um, his name is Matt. And I actually got quite a bit of um, questions about of a relationship um, and how I knew that he was the one. So I thought today would be, uh, you know, that would be the perfect topic for today's video because I am feeling so congested. It is uh, hay fever, allergies. Spring is just about upon us and I live in a whole new place now in Kansas and I'm being exposed to all different kinds of pollen. So super congested and just, ugh, I hate, I hate allergies. But anyway, yeah. So I wanted to keep this video just very casual. I got my tea and I'm just gonna talk to you about how I knew that Matt was the one. Now, uh, we did date long distance for about a year before I moved to Chicago. I used to live in Florida. I lived in Florida, he lived in Chicago, and I eventually moved over there uh, to Chicago once I kind of knew where our relationship was heading. Um, and actually, I put, um, I had made a video about some tips for long distance relationships. If you'd like to check that out, um, I'll link it down below. But how did I know that he was the one? Well, there was several things. Um, despite the fact that we were a long distance, the relationship was very easy. Um, I had boyfriends prior to, to Matt that the relationships were, they just seemed like so much effort when really you should just be enjoying like each other and hanging out with each other and it should be just easy. You shouldn't have to be guessing what the other person is thinking or feeling about you. Uh, that's what I found with a lot of my ex-boyfriends. But with Matt, despite the fact that we were in two different states, I was always very sure about how he felt about me. Um, so yeah, just the ease and the flow of our relationship was a big sign that um, he could possibly be the one. Now, we dated... For, a, for about 10 months before we talked about possibly moving to be closer to each other. And um, I was very hesitant to move. And I the reason I had to be the one to move was because my job was transferable and his was not. So um, I was very hesitant to move because I wasn't quite positive and quite sure if he he was going to be the one for me. This is like 10 months into our relationship. I already, you know, felt really comfortable and at ease with our relationship, but I still wasn't like 100% sure. And um, about 10 months into our relationship, I went to South Carolina to meet his parents and his sisters. And that was like when I knew, when I knew absolutely 110% that I was going to marry this man, it was because his family was so close and um, you could tell that the values that Matt said that he had were truly agreed in him because they were the values of his parents. And I tell you what, guys, if you are dating someone and you're trying to like figure out if he may be the one for you, look at his relationship with his family. Now, I understand that not all situations are like this and not all relationships are the same, but for the most part, when you are marrying someone, you're also marrying their family. They're always going to be there every holiday. Um, they're going to be showing up all the time once you have kids. So it is so imperative that you do love your spouse's family as well. So yeah, that was another thing um, that really made me know that Matt was the one for me. It was because 
Um, I adored his family and I could see that his values really weren't great from him because they were taught to him from his parents. Um, another thing that is very important that a lot of people don't talk about is that you have good sexual chemistry. Matt and I did. I don't really need to go into that. Uh, we're very attracted to each other. That's very important in your relationship. Let's see. I wrote down things because I knew that this head cold, sorry, this nasty head cold was going to get the best of me and that I would forget what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Here's another one. We travel really well together. If you've never traveled with your boyfriend and you're thinking of marrying him, I say go book a trip right now and go somewhere uh, because it may sound weird, but people travel very differently from each other and you need to make sure that your travel um, likes and dislikes, you know, kind of match because uh, yeah, traveling badly with someone could totally totally ruin it for you i'm telling you the truth i'm telling you the truth um another thing too is that matt and i have a healthy level of independence we do not need to be with each other all of the time and nor do we want to be around each other all of the time um it is so important that you still hold true to your own hobbies uh that you have your own experiences, your own friends, so that you guys aren't down each other's throats all of the time. So that was another thing. Matt and I were very um, independent of each other, but also really enjoy being together. And then um, two other things that I really think really solidified that he was the one for me is he let me vent about anything and everything. And us girls like to vent. And a lot of guys just kind of shrug it off and, you know, pretend that they're listening. No, Matt always really listened whenever I was venting and whatever I was venting about. So that is also something that is really important. And then finally, uh, we are both comfortable in silence when we're together. I think that that is a true mark of love and comfortability. And despite being in a long distance relationship that first year, we were very comfortable whenever we visited each other, just sitting with each other, reading together, uh, or tinkering on our phones or doing things opposite of each other, but in the same space and just being quiet. Um, and I think that that's very special. I think that that's something that a lot of um, people don't take into consideration because sometimes there's just nothing to say and you shouldn't have to feel like you need to fill up that space of silence. So anyway, yeah, that is pretty much my video. Um, green tea, apparently it's supposed to help allergies. I don't know, we'll see. But um, yeah, that's my video about how I knew that Matt was the one for me. Um, if you want me to dive into anything that I talked about, I would be so happy to. Um, just comment down below, um, ask me any questions. I'd be happy to tell you our actual love story if that's something you want to hear. But yeah, I need to <laughs> stop talking. I just did not want to miss uh, uploading um, a video for you guys. But yeah, hopefully next time I get out here, I won't be so congested. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Until next time, see ya.